Hey, it's Alex Williams here of the New Stack. Today I am with Nathan Reichson, product lead for Komodo at ActoState. Good to see you, Nathan. Good to see you, Alex. And Nathan, you're going to show us Active State's Docker and Vagrant integration with Komodo. Yeah, that's correct. So we basically have some very useful Docker and Vagrant integration in Komodo. Uh, we, we integrate with your command line interface for Docker and Vagrant. Um, so, and and we, want to, we want to facilitate you to run your uh, Docker and Vagrant commands without having to constantly context switch and without having to cross-reference all the time. Um, so this is kind of a complementary tool to your command line interface. It doesn't replace it. You'll still be using your command line interface every now and then for more complex tasks, uh, but it, it facilitates the, the more mundane tasks and, and lets you basically um, keep working in your IDE without having to kind of uh, draw yourself out of the zone. Okay, so why don't you give us a demonstration of how this works? All right, so let me share my screen with you. There we go. Um, so uh, in Komodo, I can just hit Control Shift O to bring up uh, the Commando interface, which allows you to uh, go to anything, as we say. It allows you to hit uh, execute commands on Komodo. It allows you to open files, etc. And one of the things it allows you to do is run shell commands. So I go into the shell scope here, and as you can see, it provides uh, completions for all sorts of commands. So we have Bob Bauer, Composer, Docker here, and we have Vagrant here. So uh, I can execute any command with this. Um, I can execute ping commodoid.com, and it will do that for me. I can execute any of the commands here, but the, the thing where, um, where it really um, lends its power is that it, um, it auto-completes your commands for you. So if I want to execute Docker, here we go. It shows me what commands are available and it explains them for me. So this is very useful. If like me, I like I, I use Docker and Vagrant, but I don't use them daily or, or, or you know, like I, I don't spend all my time in them. I just use them when I need to. And and because of that, I don't memorize every single command or every single argument. And and for that, this is very useful because it basically reminds me what the commands are whenever I want to use it. Ah. Um, so uh, let's pull in a Docker uh, image. I'll pull in Ubuntu Trusty. You'll see it start to pull in. I have already pulled this one in, so we don't have to wait for this to complete. I'm hitting a shortcut here to basically get right into the shell scope so I don't have to go through the, the starting interface every time. Uh, so now we pulled in this image and now we can actually run a command on it. So you'll see, oh, I have to write Docker again. You'll see when I run a command, it actually shows me what Docker uh, images are available. So I can just select the image I need. I don't have to write out the name or the ID for it. I just select it here. And now I can run my command. And there you go. OK. Now. For example, it also shows, hold on, let me go back to the Docker menu. It also shows uh, any running containers that I have. So when I go to Docker attach, it shows me exactly what containers I have on the machine and which ones are running. You'll see the green one indicates, the green icon here indicates that the container is running, whereas the red one indicates that it's not running. All right. So that way I can just quickly execute attach to it. I don't think this is going to do anything. Oh, that one's running a ping, so. There you go. And now we can just delete uh, my container again if I don't need it anymore. And that's actually going to fail, I believe, because it's still running at the moment. But there you go. It's basically just interfacing with your command line interface. So, I mean, this is a good example. If I were to try and delete an image via the command line interface while it's still being used by a contain container, that wouldn't work. And it's the same thing here. We're like we're not we're not actually executing this command. We're just using your command line interface, and we're facilitating your command line interface. Mm. All right, let's have a quick look at Vagrant now. 
So I'll execute Vagrant. And it's worth noting here that when I'm typing this out, I'm typing it out exactly as I would in the command line interface. I didn't just select Vagrant. I just press space as I would in the command line interface. So now I'm going to do add a box. And you'll see when I do this, um, it actually auto-completes what boxes that are available. Uh, now, unfortunately, we couldn't do this for Docker because it doesn't make an API available where we could retrieve the available boxes. Uh, but for Vagrant, we're, we were able to reference an API. So let's check out uh, CentOS 6.5. Um, I've actually already checked this one out earlier. So for the purposes of this quick demo, I'll, I'll skip this step. So we don't have to wait for this to entirely check out. And we'll just go straight ahead to using it. So I'm going to Vagrant init CentOS 6.5. Oops. There we go. Yeah, and it just created the vagrant file for me, as you can see. Now I can launch it, just go up, and again, it's going to list the available machines for me, but I'm going to execute it in the current directory, so I don't have to actually select one. So it's launching a machine for me. Now it's worth noting right here that you'll see uh, it puts the progress on the, each new uh, line. And this is because we're not actually emulating a full terminal in this uh, output here. Uh, you can launch it into in a full terminal emulator, uh, but for most commands that you execute, it's not really necessary. You just need to, to get the quick output. Is that why uh, you decide to do it that way? Because it's not always necessary, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Like it's it. When, when I need the command, uh, it to be launched in the terminal emulator, it, I can do that. There's just a simple flag that I can use, which is uh, explained in our online documentation. And I'll show you that in a, in a second. Uh, but, you know, 99% of the time, I don't actually need to run this in a uh, terminal emulator. I just need a quick textual dump of what's happening. Okay. So, very good. Machine is up, and now I can just SSH to it. And you'll notice when I execute SSH, it's actually going to open in a terminal uh, because Komodo is smart enough to know that when I want to SSH into something, I need an actual proper terminal emulator. There. And now I'm on the Vagrant machine pinging KomodoID.com. <clears throat> now, let's take that as an example. I, as you just saw, it launched the terminal emulator. And let's say I want to uh, execute halt for this machine. Uh, but I want it to run in a terminal emulator, which by default for halt, it's not going to do because a halt is just going to stop the machine and get print some textual information. Uh, but we want it to run in a terminal emulator. So I can just pass a little flag to it, OT, output terminal. And again, this is uh, covered in our documentation, and it will open in a terminal window for me. And yeah, that's basically Docker and Vagrant integration for you. Uh, you can uh, try this out yourself uh, by going to KomodoID.com and downloading our 21-day trial. Uh, it's fully functional, so uh, you're not limited in any way. Um, and yeah, again, this, this, this basically facilitates you to use these tools. It does not replace them or, or succeed them. It, it, it provides uh, you fu functionality to be able to use these tools uh, from within the context of Komodo without having to rip yourself out of the zone. So that is that an issue you're seeing with, uh, with, with developers? They have to rip themselves out of the zone? Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of distractions, you know, when you're, when you're working. And I think many programmers will attest to this that, uh, you know, just, just being disturbed for only like 30 seconds during, during your, uh, while you're working on your code can have a huge impact on your productivity. And, and, and this is the same kind of thing, you know, when I have to alt-tap to a different application, that, that disrupts uh, your workflow as a programmer. Mm -hmm. And being able to, to, to stay inside your application, and, and more importantly, to execute uh, your commands uh, with very minimal effort, uh, really allows you to, to, to minimize the disruption while you're coding. And that's critical. Well, Nathan, yeah. thank you very much for uh, taking some time to talk with us. We've been looking at the Docker and Vagrant integration with Active State Komodo. Nathan, thank you very much for taking the time. And again, tell us where people can give this a try. 
Yeah, so you can head over to KomodoID.com. There's a big download button right there. Uh, you can try out Komodo for 21 days. There's no limitations. And uh, all this functionality will be available to you. Great. Well, thanks a lot. And thanks for taking the time to show this to us. Thank you. Thank you.